Hi, welcome to Physionic, where we learn the body from the macro to the micro. Are you a woman? Are you wondering if a ketogenic like high fat or the opposite, a high carbohydrate diet is right for you for weight and fat loss? Then you've come to the right place. In this video, we'll be looking at a study that takes a stab at answering that question. So stick around. Learn your body, a science based education. This is a science brand, so you can expect a science-based answer, and that answer stems from a study I will have linked for you, as well as my notes and any amendments that may follow this content's publishing. It's important for us to understand the basics of the study before we delve into the answer, because without understanding the design of the study, we could make incorrect conclusions. So, the researchers put exclusively women in two groups. One group consumed only a high-fat diet, similar but not identical to a ketogenic diet, and the other group consumed a high-carbohydrate, calorie-restricted diet. Participants were overweight, but weight stable, meaning they did not lose or gain significant weight over the six months leading up to the study. These women from both groups worked with a dietitian for the first three months of the study, then were on their own for the remaining three months, making the study a total of six months long. There were no differences in starting weight or body fat between the groups at the onset of the study. With that background, what did the study find? Well, here you're looking at a graph. The low fat group is the aforementioned high carbohydrate group. They're one in the same. The very low carbohydrate group is the ketogenic like group, otherwise stated the high fat group. As you can see, after three months, but also after six months, the high fat group lost more weight than the carbohydrate group. But let's look a little deeper and investigate the actual fat loss, not just weight, which is made up of a series of different tissues like bone, muscle, and water, and more. Looking at fat loss, we see a similar picture with fat loss being greater in the high fat group. So what does this tell us? Well, before we get to that and what it means for you, we should point out a few things. One, the high carbohydrate group had a set calorie number they had to achieve. So if they had been allowed to reduce their calories even more, they may have achieved similar weight and fat loss. Two, this also shows that a high fat diet without calorie counting lowers body weight and fat mass, implying it may have better satiety than a high carbohydrate group. So what does this mean for you? It means that if you don't want to count calories, a high fat diet may be a viable option by which to reduce your body weight and body fat without too much trouble. This does not mean calories do not count or matter, but rather that the drive to eat is potentially lessened when on a high fat diet compared to a high carbohydrate diet. And with that, I will leave you. I hope this data provided you with some insight on the potential use of a high fat diet for your weight loss goals, and I hope to have the pleasure of speaking with you in the near future. Cheers. Thank you.